Welcome back. Brian Jones and the UND men's basketball team left Grand Forks Tuesday for their last and longest road trip of the season. A three-stop oddsy that will include regular season games in California and Oregon and culminate with the Big Sky Tournament, which begins Tuesday in Reno, Nevada. Unfortunately, the team ran into a little car trouble yesterday on the way to their game against Sacramento State as the bus they were scheduled to take to the gym was out of commission with a dead battery. So the bus company only had one other option available big enough to fit the team and the staff. A neon party bus. Talk about riding it to the gym in style, right? Well, anyways, in spite of their unique game day transportation, or maybe because of it, the Fighting Hawks would take the fight to Sac State from the start. UND would use a 12-0 run late in the first half to carry an 11-point lead into the break, and they'd extend that advantage in the second half. A week, a week after going 0 for from 3 against Northern Colorado, North Dakota would hit 12 triples, including 9 after halftime, while shooting 56% from the floor to earn their first Big Sky Road victory of the season, 90-73. Connor A. Vance would score a career-high 26 points to lead five Fighting Hawks in double figures. He'd be helped by Gino Crandall, who would go for 19 points, 7 assists, and 6 steals. UND would also get 24 points from their bench in this one. And if you're curious what vehicle the team took back to the hotel, we can confirm, yes, they still had use of the party bus. The win locks up North Dakota's spot in the 8-9 game against Montana State Tuesday at 2 p.m. Central in the first round of the Big Sky Tournament. They'll have one more regular se season contest to go. Before that, though, tipping off at Portland State tomorrow at 3 p.m. Let's switch gears from the court to the ice. It is senior weekend for UND hockey, so what better time to chat about the important things in life with senior captain Austin Pagansky. He's the latest to join Alex Heiner for everyone's favorite penalty box conversation. You sit. Austin Pagansky, senior forward. Welcome to the penalty box. Yes, thank you. What's the best part? About being a captain? Uh, I don't know if there's a best part. I mean, I have to do a lot of media stuff. That's kind of fun. And just kind of being uh, not in charge, but kind of being the leader of a very historical program here in North Dakota is yeah. pretty special. You could say you're in charge. That's, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> being a captain, you have to talk to the team right before the game around the net. How, how have you felt your pregame speeches? Maybe how have they progressed this year since yeah. you've taken over that role? I mean, some are better than ours. I think sometimes I kind of lose train of thought or have a squeak here and there, and some guys kind of <laughs> giggle. But, uh, for the most part, I kind of try to rehearse a little, uh, sure. little saying or a few messages that I like to uh, kind of relate to the team. And for the most part, they've been going pretty well. What's the what's the constant theme as you talk to the guys? Uh, just play as a team, play for each other, and uh, have a lot of fun. Are you better at Gage at giving pregame speeches? Uh, I would say I might be a little bit better. He was kind of monotone, I think. Uh, and mm. He kind of said the same thing over and over. I think I got a like, lot of variety yeah, in Gage's exactly. talks. Yeah. Mm. I like to switch it up a bit, so I think, uh, I mean, he was very good, obviously, but uh, I like to call myself a little bit better at pregame speeches. Okay, uh, there you go. On average, how many swear words are thrown in during your pregame speech? Uh, depending on the night, depending on how we did the night before, I think probably two or three. Two or, two or three. Yeah, keep it simple. Keep it simple. There you go. Roughly, how many times have you seen the highlight of your walk-off penalty shekel against Duluth from two years oh, ago? Man. Give me, give me a rough estimate. I mean, I think it was on our big screen for a while for like the pregame sure. yep. warm-ups mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I would say maybe thirty to forty. 30, not not hundreds. I mean, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't kept that close. <laughs> You're to a college. liar. Me. <laughs> was that the most memorable individual moment of your hockey career? Yeah, I think. Uh, for an individual perspective, I think that it was probably one of the most memorable moments that I'll be able to remember yeah. for the rest of my life. So in Brad Schlossman's regular weekly Get to Know You interview with the team, you have been called out for being the worst dressed more often than not. Is that fair? I don't think that's fair, no. Mm. Why, de defend yourself. Why is, that, why is it not a fair statement? I think a lot of guys are out to get me, to be honest. I kind of uh, try to keep the mood a little light in the locker room, and I'm kind of on guys about what they're wearing and kind of... Uh, just all, all about uh, kind of stirring things up, but I think guys are just kind of uh, trying to get back at me in subtle sure. ways, kind of like that. Sure. In your mind, who is the worst dressed? If it's not you, who should get that monitor every time, every time Brad talks to these guys? I mean, 100%, I would say Trevor Olson's the worst dressed. Mm. He wears the ugliest timber 
timber boots or whatever you want to call them. They're the ugliest <laughs> things ever. And then he wears like pajama bottoms and then our track suit. It doesn't match at all and he wears it all the time. Austin, you have played more games than any active player in college hockey. You and Carson Kuhlman from Duluth have shared that title back and forth throughout the season. When you hear that, that you've played 150 college games, do you feel do you feel old? Or does that does that sound about right? What, what do you think about that? I definitely feel old. I definitely feel, <laughs> as guys would say, a fossil, which means you've kind of been here for a while. Sure. You've been here for way too long. And But uh, just looking back at it, the time has flown by, and I just... This, I can remember my first game and now I'm in my 150 whatever game and it's just, it's just nuts and I, it's a lot of fun here. What do you think is the key to having that type of longevity at this level, playing that many games? I mean, I give a lot of credit to Mark Pullman in our weight room. He get, mm. keeps us in great shape. He keeps our, our bones uh, strong and everything like that. So, I mean, give him a lot of credit. Strong bones. Pretty <laughs> Mark Pullman. There you go. For awesome. Sure. Appreciate the time. Yep. Thanks. Thank get, you. Get out of the penalty box. Strong boned. Austin Pagansky. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I said that. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, guys. Well, it is senior weekend up in Grand Forks for UND Hockey, and Austin Pagansky and the squad are set to take on the NCHC leading, leaning St. Cloud State Huskies. Alex Heinert previews that series when Midco Sports Tonight returns. <laughs>